All right, so GTA 5 Enhanced just dropped. It's a free upgrade for those who own GTA 5 on PC. It adds ray tracing as well as other enhancements. However, it is still running DLSS 3, which is unfortunate because DLSS 4 is here and it's way better. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add DLSS 4 support to GTA 5 Enhanced. All right, Ron, we're going to ignore you for a second. I have another video explaining how to do this, and it's probably way more refined because this one's going to be really quick, and I cannot reuse that video because I lost footage. So I'm going to link that in the description. I'm also going to link in the description how to enable the overlay that you see on the bottom left here, and I'll zoom into it in a second. If you're wondering whether this is safe to use online, I've been playing online now for... Okay, Lester. All right. I've been playing online now for the better part of an hour, just testing things, and I've had absolutely no issue. All of this is done on an NVIDIA driver level, so the game doesn't really know which version of DLSS 4 you're running or which preset unless you replace the DLL file in the game. If you're wondering if you could just replace the DLSS DLL file in the game's folder, you may run into some issues with anti-cheat, so I would not recommend it. If you're wondering whether or not you can use DLSS Swapper, that does the same exact thing. It just replaces the DLSS DLL file in game. So again, I would not recommend doing that because you are messing with the game's files. As always, please check the description and the pinned comments. I put everything important there. Any updates that may come up that I didn't catch while making the video or anything that changes after the video, I tried to add to the description. And any important comments I tried to pin. So if you have any questions, it's likely your question is answered there. But I'm more than happy to answer every single question that's asked. As long as I know the answer. So feel free to ask any questions you may have. But to save you some time, go ahead and check the description as well as the pinned comments. All right, so here's how to apply the fix. Again, we're changing everything on a driver level. So as you can see on the top left here, it's on the global driver profile. If you want to edit only GTA 5 enhanced settings, you can click on the sun here, navigate to the EXE and add it. So you want to download the latest version of NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I'm going to link that in the description. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and run it. You may get a warning in Windows saying it's from an unknown developer, depending on your security settings. It's safe to run. If it wasn't safe to run, I would not be sharing it. Once you're running it, go ahead and scroll down to section number five, common. Now, a lot of people say they don't have this section. If you don't see this section, you may need to reinstall your NVIDIA drivers. So the best way to do that is to use DDU to completely uninstall them and then download a fresh set from NVIDIA's site. So if you're not seeing this section, I would start there. That has resolved it for a lot of people. This works on all RTX cards. So 20 series, 30 series, 40 series, and 50 series. So once you're in section five here, you want to enable your settings as I have them here. So under DLSS, enable DLL override, you want to turn that on. DLSS force preset letter, you want to set it to always use latest. The current latest preset that is used is preset K. These two settings are for frame generation, so they're not really applicable to this. You don't have to worry about it, but I've gone ahead and enabled an override for frame generation. And I've set it to always use latest as well. And if you're curious, the RR settings are for ray reconstruction. The multi-frame generation count is for 50 series cards. After you set your settings appropriately, just hit apply settings on the top right. And again, that's gonna apply them all on a driver level. If you wanna revert everything you've done, just highlight the option that you want to reset and you'll see this little NVIDIA logo here, restore this value to NVIDIA defaults. And you could do that for every single one. There is a global default setting here at the top, but that's going to default all of your NVIDIA settings. So everything you've done in your NVIDIA control panel is going to be reset. And that's it. If you want to make sure that this is working, you can enable an NVIDIA DLSS overlay. I have another video explaining on how to do that. And of course, I'm going to link it in the description. So if you want to enable that overlay, go ahead and check that out. There's an easy way to enable and disable it. And it's really handy to see not only which version of DLSS you're running, but which preset you're using as well. Once again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I try to answer every single one. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.